Okay, in today's video, we're going to calculate the power output of a person as they lift a bucket of water out of a well. And this is the situation we have. Here's the well, here's the bucket of water, and the person pulls a six kilogram bucket of water out of a well with a constant velocity of 1.5, at a constant velocity of 1.5 meters per second, and we want to know what is the power output of the person. Now, you might be getting a little confused because we know power is work divided by time. And in this case, we're not given the work and we're not given the time. But you need to remember that we can also rewrite this equation as the power is equal to the force times the distance divided by the time. Now, once again, we're not given the distance. We're not told how far they're going to pull the bucket out of the water or how deep the well is. We're not given the time. But we are given the force because we know it's a six kilogram bucket. If we multiply six kilograms, the mass of the bucket, times the acceleration due to gravity, that will give us the weight of the bucket. And therefore, we know the person has to apply an equal and opposite force to lift the bucket out of the well at a constant velocity. So we know the force. We don't know the distance and we don't know the time. But we know that distance divided by time is velocity. So we can simply take the force that the person exists and multiply that times the velocity that the bucket is being lifted out of the well. And then, for, therefore, we can calculate the power. So I'm just going to write this down like this again, just to break it down a little more, because I know the force is equal to mg, the mass times the acceleration due to gravity. We said that. We're going to multiply that times the velocity. Let's do that. The mass of the bucket is 6 kilograms. Multiply that times the acceleration due to gravity. That's the weight of the bucket. That's the force the person has to use to pull the bucket out of the well. Multiply that times the velocity at which the bucket is coming out of the well, and you get that the power output of that person as they do that is 88.3 watts. Okay, And if they're going to exert 88.3 watts over a long period of time, they would have to continue to pull that bucket out of the well with 1.5 at a velocity of 1.5 meters per second. Okay, so there you go. That's how you calculate the power output using essentially the force and the velocity. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please do all of the following three things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent chemistry, physics, and math videos. Give me a nice thumbs up for this video and also leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.